today's podcast, we are doing it live from the barn area. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun because we are going to be talking about why we took a chance on that guy right there. And, um, and why take a chance on older horses in general? Um, you know, this summer when we were approached by the Bradley family to see if we wanted to take Tucker and try him as a cutting horse, um, I really wasn't sure if we wanted to. He's 17 years old. He wasn't sound. Uh, you know, should we take a chance on him? And, you know, thankfully they were willing to let us see if we could get him sound um, before we committed to buying him. And um, so we had him here for a few months before we decided to actually do the deal. So, um, you know, really, we couldn't lose on it. Um, we were able to have the vet look at him. Uh, we were able to try some things with him, the joint injections, the stretches, the getting his teeth done, um, starting the summit on him, do the therapies on him all those things, and then we were able to take him to the cutting pen to see how he would perform. And we took a chance because we were told he was badass. <laughs> Quite honestly, we told, we were told he was a heck of a cutting horse. And you can tell when he gets into the cutting pen, he really does enjoy his job. So, um, so I guess, long story short, we took a chance on him because we heard he was a badass. So, um, and then, I really felt like the only thing that we had to lose on it was time and some vet bills, obviously, uh, if we had spent the money on the vet and he didn't become sound, then we were out that money. Uh, but I felt like he deserved a chance because there's so much that these older horses can teach younger riders. And so even though my uh, oldest daughter wasn't a total rookie to the cutting pen, um, you know, it was nice for her to get on a horse that knew a lot about cattle and was very honest about how to work the cattle. Uh, her cutting horse, Mac, that she had been riding, he was a little lazy and he, you know, wouldn't always get her to where she needed to be uh, to get ahead of those cattle to turn them back. And so, um, having a horse like Tucker, who has a lot of experience in the cutting pen and could teach her a thing or two, um, has definitely been beneficial. Um, and the other great thing about it is he is our babysitter. So here's Tucker and, um, he's had his morning, his, mor <laughs> his morning feed and, uh, hay and he's our babysitter for our foal. So yep, he's gonna give us a nice little um, sniff on the camera. And so these old, these old guys can teach the foals a thing or two. So that brings me to my next topic, which is why do we mess around with foals? And so um, here's, here's our little baby, Rosetta. And if you haven't caught the episode on weaning her yet, um, definitely check that out. But Rosetta is a foal out of a mare that we had raised. And that mare had so much try and so much heart. And uh, she had a stifle injury. And this was before I knew much about rehabbing stifles. Uh, she also was having some navicular issues. And so we turned her into a broodmare. And so um, it's been really fun to see a horse that you've raised and trained. Um, with that mare, we raised her, we trained her, and I took her to the barrel pen. She was a money-earning daughter uh, of a good mare that I used to run. And um, she was really red is what we call her mama and a really pretty neat uh mare and then my kids got to run her too so uh there's something really special and sentimental about having a horse that you've raised 
and trained that um, then you ride and take to the show pen and win on. And then having your kids get on and win is is a huge plus. So, so <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing a bunch of farts in the background. I don't know if you all can, but um, I guess that's the disadvantage of doing the podcast out with the horses. Um, that's very, <laughs> very much a pass the gas, uh, type of morning, I guess. Um, so one of my favorite places to be though, out here and watching them all nap and sun themselves, uh, for sure. So anyways, we take a chance on the Colts because it gives us hope. It gives us, uh, dreams of what the future will bring. Uh, we love thinking about how the horses are going to cross on, um, you know, how our mares are going to cross on certain stallions. Um, there's Rosetta. And uh, her, her father is Bugs Fling, who is a local stud. Um, and Wes and Ashley Wells have been good to deal with on, on her. And um, so anyways, here's Rosetta. Who couldn't just love a face like that? So um, anyways, there's our topic for today is uh, why do we take a chance on foals? Because we have hopes and dreams of great things to come. Why do we take a chance on these older fellas? Because we know uh, they've been there, done that. And if we can keep them sound, and happy that they will give us their best. So, um, you know, the whole spectrum of the ages right here, um, our oldest horse and our youngest horse. Um, so it's, it's why we do it. It is, um, there's a lot of emotional attachment to these horses and um, a lot of hard work, but I think it's worth it. So peace out. See you guys later.